Hello there, it's Roger here from The Cabin. Uh, I hope you're all doing okay and safe. Just a short message really to encourage uh, you all in these times as we seem to be opening up uh, a bit more. Hopefully we can get back to whatever normal is. So, how have you been? It's been uh, an interesting time, hasn't it? It's been a strange time. But you know, you never know what you miss until it's not there. And we at the cabin have really missed you, especially the children. We miss you greatly. We miss the clubs, we miss the fun, we miss the cafe church, we miss uh, the coffee pots and seeing you all, all the families together. We really do miss you. And so we are entering into these strange times, but as we look back, we can sense uh, some disconnection. We've had disconnection uh, in our families and it's been uh, hard for families uh, to get together. Only recently have uh, grandparents and uh, children and grandchildren really been able to get together. So we, we do give thanks for that, but there has been a disconnection and um, very difficult things happening in our community. Also in our community, there's been a sense of disconnection. Uh, children not being able to see uh, friends, uh, parents not being able to see <coughs> people around them and uh, neighbours and being locked in. And this has caused a, a lot of concern. Uh, there has been a lot of uh, mental health uh, issues of being in lockdown. There's been lots of concern uh, and anxiety. And obviously with the schools shut, that's been a further um, problem for families uh, being at home and being on top of each other. And there has been that sense of disconnection among us. And it's not the, men the way we're meant to be. And uh, also I think there is a sense of which there is uh, a disconnection with God sometimes. Uh, we may be thinking, well, what's happening? What's God doing about this pandemic? And in a sense, we obviously, the, the team at uh, the cabin, we haven't been able to go to church or meet together uh, like you. So it's been very, very difficult in these times. And so often we have felt disconnected. But you know, there is a, a, a message of hope uh, that comes uh, through all this. And the message of hope uh, is this is that we do have uh, a God who cares about us. Maybe we think, well, does anybody really care about us? And one of the good things we found here at the cabin is that we have been able to help. And so at this time, uh, as I speak, we're in July, we're starting to look for ways of opening up. And quite the opposite of disconnection is obviously connection. And we're finding now that connection is happening uh, with family, with bubbles, with people being able to meet together, uh, even with social distancing. But we want to encourage you that we believe that as time goes on, uh, the restrictions will become less and we will be able to connect uh, with our families uh, and with other people. In our community, uh, it's been very interesting that lots of people say that they've missed each other. And in this time, there is a sense of uh, reconnecting. It's been good for us and the team to be able to come out and reconnect with you as we've been visiting uh, many homes all across uh, Cradle Hill with our team of uh, 12 or so. And we've met many of you and talked with many of you about your joys and about the, the problems uh, that you're facing. We've also been able to give you gifts and we hope you've enjoyed uh, the sunflower seeds. And we really hope that they're growing, really they're being, all the rain we've had or hadn't had. And we hope that you've enjoyed the chalks. And we've also uh, more recently been given um, by Towner uh, arts and crafts packs and even though we can't do arts and crafts at the clubs uh, we can do arts and crafts in your homes and we hope that uh, you've enjoyed those and there's more to come. Don't forget 
put the stuff and the pictures and everything on the cabin Facebook, you've got all the details, that we can all enjoy what you're doing and what you're creating in this time, a way of sharing. Please do keep in touch with Cabin Facebook as a lot of notices are on there uh, about how to deal with uh, issues and family issues there. So please look it up. And more recently, we've dropped into you prayer cards. Uh, and it's been very interesting that we've opened a prayer line uh, that if there are concerns and issues uh, confidentially that you would like prayer for, then please send them in um, and ring the number, leave your message and it will be dealt with confidentially. We're praying for you every day, all the families that we're connected with on Cradle Hill. So that's, uh, uh, that's a great blessing. And so we look at uh, things and we think, well, we can reconnect with God. And many people have been reconnecting with God in, in a new way. And as I was thinking about what I might say to you, um, I just came across uh, these verses, uh, which may be of help to you. Uh, they're from the Bible. And uh, it's here in the Bible that we can have a look at uh, what are things, if I can find it, here we are. And it is uh, 2 Corinthians, and it's 5, verse 17. And it says there, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, a new creation has come. The old is gone, the new is here. That's very interesting that as we're reconnecting, we can have a new start and a new relationship with God by believing in Jesus Christ. That's the first thing. The second is, all this is from God who reconciled to his, as us to himself through Jesus Christ to give us the mess, ministry of reconciliation. Reconciliation is an interesting word. It means being brought back together again. And so when we look at reconnection, uh, we can know that God wants to reconnect with us and we can reconnect with God by believing and trusting in Jesus Christ. He's always there. So I want to uh, encourage you uh, at this time that rec reconciliation and reconnection means that God can help us through this. And as we pray for you, we know that God is helping you in your families. So don't forget, we'll be coming around to see you. There'll be more packs uh, for arts and crafts and things to do and we'll be here, there for you. We look forward to seeing you and we look forward in the future to having a, a time when we can be all back together again, uh, enjoying uh, our families, enjoying our time together, enjoying God being with us. So God bless you all, keep safe, and uh, I hope you like the new hairstyle. Uh, I haven't been able to get to the barbers, but um, you know, it's my, it's my new image and new look. God bless. Love to you all. Bye.